What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. This is going to be a quick video in which I'm going to talk about whether you should update the iOS 15.5 which was just released and whether it's good for jailbreak purposes. This video is brought to you by Phone Rescue, a program that allows you to recover data from your device from backups or iCloud and you can also repair the device stuck in a boot loop and recovery mode and so on and even recover the screen time passcode. I'm also giving away codes for this program so definitely check it out in the link below. Check out the free trial and tell me your favorite feature and you get the chance to actually win a license for it. Definitely check it out in the link below. So Apple released the iOS 15.5 and iPadOS 15.5 back on May 16, so yesterday, and it does have a pretty hefty patch log over here, a lot of security issues that have been patched, including some juicy kernel vulnerabilities which are great for jailbreak purposes, and one of these is coming from Ned Williamson of Google Project Zero, who has released jailbreak vulnerabilities in the past for the jailbreak community as open source, and the other two over here are from Linus Henzi, who has recently released jailbreak usable kernel vulnerabilities, which we have used before. So quite a lot of important things patched over here, but do keep in mind that those are patched in 15.5, so they are available on 15.4.1 and lower, which makes 15.4.1 vulnerable to quite a lot of kernel vulnerabilities and some IO mobile frame buffer, IO surface accelerator, and even IO kit vulnerabilities over here, all of which can be released in the future once iOS 15.4.1 is no longer signed, which I expect it to be in a couple of weeks. So should you update then to iOS 15.5? Well, if you do not care at all about jailbreak, you don't want a jailbreak, you only want a secure device, then definitely you should update to 15.5 because it fixes a lot of security holes. But if you do care about jailbreaking, you should definitely stay as low as possible. Now, I wouldn't recommend it to update to 15.4.1 either. Even though it's signed, those vulnerabilities are very likely available on older versions as well, so stay as low as possible on iOS 15. Torin will be updated apparently in the future, we don't know yet when exactly that will be, because the team has been facing a lot of issues with the development lately, because of how tough iOS 15 proved to be in order to jailbreak it, but they are slowly working towards a jailbreak, however it's not going to support 15.2 and newer at the moment, so if you can, definitely stay lower than 15.2. We have no word from Uncover, and yes, the situation in the jailbreak community is dry as all hell. Check Rain hasn't been updated yet for iOS 15, Uncover hasn't been updated and we don't know if they are going to update it or not. The only jailbreak we know for sure will be updated to iOS 15 is Torin and they have openly discussed about how hard it is to jailbreak iOS 15. So this jailbreak will be a landmark jailbreak for iOS 15, the very first ever, which yes will take time, Apple learn from their mistakes and they keep on learning with every single patch over here, making jailbreaking harder, not because they hate jailbreaking, but rather because they patch a lot of vulnerabilities and learn from their mistakes, and the jailbreak uses vulnerabilities in order to survive, so less vulnerabilities or less common vulnerabilities means fewer jailbreaks. But even with plenty kernel vulnerabilities available, it's not always only about that. After you have a kernel vulnerability, that's only the beginning. Patching Amphi or the code sign is not an easy feat, sandbox as well, and getting root and many other things in order to create a proper jailbreak and even creating a remount and so on are also very big challenges which require a lot of work. So having a kernel vulnerability is great, but it's only the beginning for a jailbreak. It's always been like that, but nowadays all the components are harder to get. So no, jailbreaking is not dying, it just takes much longer than it usually does because iOS 15 has been so complicated to jailbreak. But in meantime, in order to keep your chances as high as possible to get a jailbreak, do not update to 15.5, 15.4.1 or any newer version, stay where you are. You gain nothing from updating to 15.5 if you want to jailbreak. So that's basically it, thank you for watching, I am Gia Snow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.